Shiva. Uh, this is Aoi Shiman from Japan Foundation New Delhi. Uh, Japan Foundation is the only cultural institute uh, funded by Japanese government and uh, we are working for uh, spread our Japanese culture and uh, Japanese language. And uh, today uh, we came to Kohima for conducting the culture event. Uh, Northeast Japan Caravan 2023, and uh, we have uh, many activities like uh, Japanese uh, yukata experience. You can try our traditional clothes yukata, uh, and uh, we have a language session. You can learn Japanese language uh, just uh, as a beginner, and we have uh, four anime screenings. And uh, we have a special program tomorrow uh, by Nagaland Anime Junkies, one of the biggest cosplay group in India. And they're going to have a performance, so please come. And uh, so why we come to this Northeast for this event? Because uh, the most of government, Japan and India, they are keen to promote uh, Japan and the uh, they want to build a big friendship in this region. So that's why uh, we are working for uh, the spread our culture here. And I hope the human to human exchange will be increasing in this region and Japan. Uh, so uh, please come and enjoy. Uh, this is uh, Capital, uh, Capital Hall Kohima. And uh, you can enjoy our activities. Thank you. With the help of Japan Foundation, uh, we have started the language program since uh, 2020 uh, in CH College, uh, Dimapur. And during the inaugural, the Director General Sato, he mentioned that this was the uh, first such Japanese language program in Northeast India. So we, we appreciate that distinction given to us, and of course, right after that, uh, within a few weeks, some institutions in Assam also started. And along with that, um, we would like to send our Naga youth, as already mentioned even by our advisor, not only for music, not only for arts, not only for other um, the soft skill areas, but we would like to send our Naga youth, boys and girls, to Japan to work. And there's a program under the uh, two governments, Japan and India, uh, called the Technical Intern Training Program. And under this, it's a three-year program. Um, one of the uh, facilitating um, organization, ARMS, they also have to put there outside. So that you can go and see there, and then you can enroll, and you can have the opportunity to not only go and see Japan, but also to work there learn there and come back here with the skills and help develop our state. So that is our dream. So far about 50 Naga youth have gone during the last one year. And we hope to send hundreds, if not thousands more. So uh, sorry mentioned you're lucky to be here and we hope that we'll be able to turn this uh, opportunity into your hands. So with that, once again, Thank you, Arigato. So we wish you all the best for that. But the Japan Foundation continues to provide inspiring experiences with various programs and projects across the country. And we look forward that you would get many more opportunities in the future in Nagaland. And on that note, I want to say, as a department that promotes music and the arts, we are, we are called Task Force for Music and, Art, music and Arts. And we are the, the government mission just to promote music and the arts and also for cultural collaboration. So uh, next time you're in town, uh, please do also get in touch with us and we would love to play a larger, bigger role in the days ahead. And I've also shared on behalf of all the young people here and music lovers that we are going to be hosting the 25th edition of the Hornbill Music Festival, India's biggest. And last year we had the privilege of hosting four countries and hopefully with the initiative of the Japan Foundation this year that will have 
band from Japan perform here uh, during December. So we'll, we'll discuss that and hopefully that becomes a reality in the days to come. So with those few words, I am so happy to be here uh, myself, uh, Engineer Moa, and Dr. Ovital, the project director of TAFMA. We all are so grateful and very humble for this honor given to us to be uh, to come and grace this occasion as your special friends and guests. So God bless you. Have a lovely day today and tomorrow, and all the best uh, for everything you do here in Nanamen. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Sri Teja Varun, Advisor Task Force for Musica and Arts. Mr. Mo Ayar, Engineering Chief Department of Power Government of Nagaland. Uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Northeast Japan Caravan 2023. And we, Japan Foundation, are delighted to come back to Nagaland and conduct the first event in Kohima, the capital city of the state. This is Awe Shimaru, Director of the Culture Exchange, and I'm happy to see uh, the audience today. Uh, even it's Friday morning. Uh, I heard there are a lot of events happening simultaneously, but thank you for coming this event. Uh, since we initiated this special culture event, North East Japan Caravan, in 2019, we traveled to many cities, Wahati, Shillong, Infal, Aizo, Dimapu, and this is the sixth city, Kohima. We met many people from Northeast regions who are fond of Japan and Japanese culture. Uh, we always amaze their passions and how they feel close to us. Uh, this is because we might share some common cultural roots and we believe understanding and appreciating for culture is the best way to build the friendships uh, around 80 years ago, uh, we shared a sad history here, but today we come as a friend. Uh, I hope many of you enjoy a variety of activities for two days and deepen our friendship further or for our bright future. Thank you so much. Arigato gozaimasu. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter and Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.